149 countries around the world are members of China's Belt and Road Initiative. However, Pakistan might be the most important partner for China's future growth. Pakistan shares a 596-kilometer border with Xinjiang, an autonomous territory in northwest China that was an important part of the ancient Silk Road. Together, the two nations have built the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, called CPEC, which is the flagship project of China's Belt and Road Initiative. CPEC begins in Kashgar, one of the most important cities in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region and extends the entire length of Pakistan, finishing at the Gwadar port in southwest Pakistan. This economic corridor gives China direct access to the Arabian Sea and a significantly easier pathway to securing oil and gas from its Middle Eastern partners. The CPEC project has had a significant impact on the economies of both China and Pakistan, as well as the wider region. The results of CPEC for the Pakistani economy have been quite impressive. Pakistani officials predict that CPC will result in the creation of 2.3 million jobs between 2015 and 2030 and add nearly 2.5 percentage points to the country's annual economic growth. From January to December 2021, bilateral trade between Pakistan and China was $27.8 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of 59%. As of 2022, CPEC has enhanced Pakistan's exports and development capacity and now provides one-fourth of Pakistan's total electricity. The first is energy security. China is the world's largest energy consumer and relies heavily on imported oil and gas. Over the past decade, China has become Saudi Arabia's biggest trading partner and largest oil customer, buying over a quarter of the country's oil exports. Last December, China signed a 27-year deal with Qatar to access the country's liquefied natural gas. These deals have secured the energy China needs to continue driving its economy in the future. However, a simple question remains, how does the oil and gas travel from the Middle East into China's borders? The next reason CPEX is vital to China's future is that it allows China to access new markets in Central Asia, South Asia, and the Middle East. The project has helped boost China's trade and investment in these regions and reduce dependence on exports to the West. As we know, China is engulfed in a trade war with the United States and the EU. Xi Jinping began a national science and technology innovation self-sufficiency drive back in 2015, even before Donald Trump's trade war and before Joe Biden was heard of as being the president of the United States. This was part of what is described as China's economic nationalism. Xi Jinping has emphasized the importance of providing for national self-sufficiency in food, agriculture, manufacturing, science and technology. He said that China couldn't rely on international market supply in the future, especially given the ongoing trade export and sanctions from the United States. Therefore, it's vital for China to become more self-sufficient and build economic partnerships where it can. The third and final reason is regional stability. China is using CPEC as a tool to promote regional stability and counter-terrorism in Pakistan. One of the biggest trends emerging in the past five years is the metal export from Pakistan to China through CPEC. Pakistan has started to diversify its exports and increase the production of metals such as copper and iron, which are in high demand in China. This increase in metal sales to China has been a major benefit for Pakistan's economy, generating new sources of revenue and diversifying exports beyond its traditional industry of textiles. Before the launch of the Bari, Pakistan imported approximately 15% of its goods from China and 5% from the United States. By 2021, Chinese imports had doubled, accounting for 30% of Pakistani imports, while US imports remained unchanged at 5%. Some Pakistani scholars say China has already achieved hegemony in Pakistan. For Pakistan, China is the new America. Multipolarity, or a world with two or more hegemons, has accompanied analysis of similar gains China has made at the expense of the United States and the international liberal order. 
Let's get back to the central question of this video. How has Pakistan's close relationship with China influenced local life in Pakistan? An article from Western media sheds valuable insights into how local Pakistanis truly feel about China. Last year, The Diplomat published an article titled Pakistanis perceive China as their best friend. While perceptions of China have soured in many parts of the world, very few Pakistanis have anything but positive sentiments towards Beijing. In a poll conducted last year, respondents were asked two simple questions about China. What first comes to your mind when you think of China? Has your view of China gotten better or worse in the past three years? For the first question, the most common answer was the word friend. Pakistani people perceive the Chinese as friendly and hard-working and view China as a strong, developed superpower. For the second question, over 85% indicated their views of China have improved in the past three years. Only 9% indicated a worsening of their perception and 6% stayed neutral. This has been the secret recipe for China's Belt and Road success. Go to places where the US typically overlooks work with countries the United States doesn't have time for, and slowly build the BRI into the world's largest trading network.